to the first favorites video where I'm going to be including Christmas products because from now until my probably January favorites or December favorites, there's definitely going to be one Christmas product from one Christmas collection in my favorites video. So, welcome to the first holiday one. You guys may have noticed that I, um, for my haul video, I'm starting a new haul series called Holiday Haul, just because I want to make a few changes for the holidays. Also, November 28th is my YouTube anniversary, and I plan on making a few changes to my channel. I'm not going to delete any videos. It's just just gonna be stuff about my videos that I'm gonna change so stick around for that just keep your eye out for stuff like that after November 28th so let's get started I have so much you guys know I love to pack it in first of all I've been really into this new nail company that I found I found that I have a Sally beauty supply store near me I was going to my guitar lesson yes I played the guitar and I saw it on the side of the um, road and my mom was just like I was like mom is that Sally's beauty supply store she's like yeah I used to take you there when you were younger you probably don't remember so we went in and I actually found some china glaze so what I'm wearing on my nails right now is china glazes for Aud Audrey and it's really pretty and it lasts a long time and I chipped that nail right there not because of the polish but because I was doing a lot of work for my school play and I chipped it but um so that, and then I got watermelon rind, which I wore the other last week. I think I might have been wearing it in one of the videos, but I love it, and they're both really, really pigmented. Then, as far as Lush goes, I really love the So White Bath Bomb. Now, I thought that So White Bath Bomb was just going to be the good smell that would be the reason why I loved it. And which I do, it smells delicious. But when I put it in the bath, it acted more as a bath melt, which I loved because it lasted a whole lot longer and made the bath more thick. Not like yogurt thick, but like more milky than the Butterball bath bomb, which I've tried before, which kind of just fizzes away very quickly. This one lasted and it kind of melted. It was like really weird. It got into blobs. It kind of separated into blobs and those blobs melted melted slowly and made the bath feel really milky so this is fantastic I love this so I definitely suggest the so white bath bomb they are three dollars and ninety five cents at lush you can get them off lush cosmetics or no lush.com sorry so um, another thing sticking on the bath theme my philosophy candy cane shower gel I mentioned this in my haul video yesterday but I've used it again and again already I've used it twice and um, it's just amazing the scent doesn't really linger on your skin which I like because I wouldn't like coming out of my shower smelling like a peppermint like lollipop or something or candy cane just because I don't know I don't feel like peppermint something that I want to linger on me unless I'm doing something like unless like I wouldn't want to go out and spray some peppermint like twisted peppermint body splash on me I don't know why I mean I would like I would on occasion but it's not something I would want to smell like for like the whole day at school so I really love that in that sense and it's really smooth on my skin also uh, for my skin I got this at CVS probably a few weeks ago like two weeks ago this is the new Neutrogena deep clean clean relaxing nightly cleanser this smells like lavender-ish um, I want to say like fresh kind of lavender and it's not gonna make you like drowsy or anything like that but it is going to make your skin feel really really soft and kind of prepare your skin for going to bed I guess or just getting ready um, for the night so I really like this it's like a gel consistency it's pretty liquidy but there's also some little beads in there if you can see and it really cleanses my face really well as far as brushes go, I've been really loving my Eco Tools eyeliner brush. I've always been a big fan of the Sonia Keshuk Angles liner brush, but um, I really love this one right now, so that one's a favorite. And as far as my foundation and concealer brush go, and I'll get to a favorite concealer next, I've been loving the Studio Basics um, Concealer and Foundation Double Ended Brush. It's just so much easier to have it all on one brush. Conceal foundation. It's like so easy. So I've been really loving this. You can get these both at CVS. Um... As far as lip balms go, because my lips have been actually very, very dry, I always keep my lip 
lips moisturized, but for some reason, since it's getting a lot colder, they've been getting a lot drier. So I've been keeping this in my pocket because it's small and really moisturizing. This is from Bond Bell, and this is their Vitagloss O2 Moisture Stick, and this is a very good chapstick. It is so thick, and it smells like fresh watermelon. And it's so cute and teeny, it fits right into your pocket, but this is so thick. It's like amazingly thick. You can see that thicky, thicky, <laughs> that thick shine that it gives you. So this covers my lips so well and it keeps them moisturized literally for over like two hours. So it's really good and I can feel it going into my lips and moisturizing my lips and when I go to the bathroom and see my lips after I use that, after it's sunken in, my lips look more plump um, without having it burn like a plumper so it's really good. Just some lip glosses that I've been loving. I've been loving my Maybelline, uh, what is this called? I forget what this is called. Um, but they're a Maybelline lip gloss, and this one is in 320. It's a really nice wine color. I've been loving those darker colors for fall and winter because I just love those. I'm going to get into more reds for winter, but I love this one. Oh, I think it's called Expert Wear or something like that. So, Shine Seduction Lip Glosses. That's what it's called. So, I really love that one. Also, my L'Oreal Color Juice um, Lip Gloss in Tutti Fruity. This is not for, like whiny at all like the other one but it's really good it smells like the color juice sticks which smell like sour starburst in my opinion and it's a thick lip gloss but it's not sticky it's not like that kind of thick but I like how it's like a half of a rolling ball I like that but it sm oh, smells fantastic and I really love it it gives me a really really pretty color I'll do a little swatch it's like a hot pink, but you can definitely sheer it out by rubbing it onto your lips like that. So, I'm a big fan of that. As far as foundation goes, I have been using liquid foundation. Now, I finished all my drugstore liquid foundations, so I had this older one. Not old one, but this Chanel one that I got a while ago. My mom gave it to me. It was too light for her. So, lately, I've just been putting it on my fingers and just rubbing it all over my face, kind of like a tinted moisturizer, because if you put a light amount, it won't be too thick. And then, if I don't want that like um, liquidy look, or if I want to set that liquid a little bit, I've been using my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Loose Powder and my shade is in Natural Beige. So that is something that I've really been loving. As far as my moisturizer goes, I've been loving my Philosophy Hope in a Jar. It's amazing for my dry skin. I have not been getting flakes or anything like that on my skin lately with the cold weather. So it's good and it's a good sign that that's working. So I'm really happy. For my concealer, I've been using Mineral Fusion Cosmetics, which you can get at Whole Foods or where I can get it at Whole Foods. And it's a duo and this is in warm. I've been loving that. I've been loving my Jessie's Girl eyeshadow in lilac and I've been comboing it with my MAC Style Snob eyeshadow from Star Flash if I want a smoky purple look for fall. Not for school, but just in general. And as far as mascara goes, the one that's making my lashes most big and prominent and really pretty and like lengthened is the new Maybelline Pulse Perfection Vibrating Mascara, if you can hear it. It vibrates and it's fantastic. Um, so it just looks like that and you can't see it probably but it's vibrating and it really lengthens my mess my um, my lashes I was so surprised it works fantastically and this is in black and then if I don't want that big lengthy look and I want natural lashes for school I've been loving my Clinique lash doubling mascara in black so I hope you guys enjoyed this October favorites a November favorites will probably be coming right around the corner these months are flying by but I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and everything like that. More videos are definitely on their way today. I just did my math homework, so that's good. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day. Ciao!